Today, in part 9 of our 10-part series on switching from the PC to the Mac, we're going to look at drive management. Now, the Mac handles hard drives and even directories quite differently than they are on a PC. For example, there's no drive C on a Mac. And instead, you can name your hard drives. Now, here is a Windows Vista virtual machine. You can say, here's drive C. And on every PC, since there have been PCs, there's always a drive C. There has to be a drive C, and drive C can't be changed to any other drive letter. That's not true on a Mac. On the Mac, my primary hard drive and the boot drive is called Macintosh HD, and I could actually rename it to anything I want. You can also see that here I have attached a couple of external drives, and because of my own background in PC, I named them Mac E and Mac F, but I actually could name them anything I wanted. You'll also note that over here there's an eject button for these external drives that are connected. That's because on the Mac it's important that you properly eject a drive before you physically disconnect it from the computer. The same is also true of a CD or a DVD that's in the drive, which you can right click on and select eject, or you can press the eject button that's on the keyboard. Over here under places, you can see that there are folders that I've put there so that they can be easily accessed by me, like my editorial folder. And here's articles there that I wanted to access. So, this is how drives are handled on the Mac, and that concludes Part 9.